Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session on house wiring system. We I shall give you an introduction about the uh, residential house wiring system. Myself Tara Kishwari, department from Tripoli, e, SJBIT. Today we shall talk about the wiring system, especially on the house wiring circuit. You can see the typical house wiring circuit shown in the diagram. What do you mean by the wiring system? There is a network of wires. They are connected from the distribution board for the distribution of electrical energy from the suppliers. This is, if we say this is a supplier and uh, this is a consumer, he, he, the consumer has various loads starting from many do domestic applications so if you have to distribute the energy from the supplier end to the consumer numerous electrical energy consuming devices across a consumer such as it could be lamps fans any other domestic applications and we are going to control this using the safety devices like fuse, uh, DPST switches and so on. This is called as wiring system. So uh, the electrical energy is being distributed uh, from the supplier meter board to the consuming devices is known as wiring system. The supplier service cable will start I told you the supplier cable it is starting from say this is N as neutral P is phase E is earth so the service means the distribution of energy starts from this so the power of energy electrical energy is entering through the phase and the neutral it enters through the lines like this and it is feeding until here until this energy meter the power is feeding until this energy meter so this part where the energy is fed into in any ordinary houses until the surface fuse is called as service cut out it could also be called as service fuse service cut out or service fuse so until here it is the supplier's responsibility or it is it belongs to the supplier supplier's property until here the supplier becomes responsible for his equipment after this where the consumer starts connecting the consumer starts connecting from here so the consumer becomes the uh, liable beco becomes uh, responsible entirely for the control of the his according to his selection so this is called as the point of commencement of supply commencement of supply or in other words consumer terminal so here on the customer the whole entire system will be under the control of the customer it will be according to his selection so the so from here to here it is a supplier and from here to here it is from to the consumer supplier and consumer so this is how the electrical energy is distributed so how do you how does it happen how is the electrical energy is being distributed over here you can see the diagram 
there is a cutout over here you can see this is a controlled device or it is meant for the safety as well as controlling these domestic appliances using the linked switch from here it is feeding the main distribution board to various junctions so you can see the p junction is going here n junction is going over here you can see that from the main distribution board it reaches to the sub distribution board and from the sub distribution it goes to the sub circuit and so on sub circuit number 1 sub circuit number 2 and so on and actually uh, according to the IS standards yes you can see how the system of distribution of electrical energy is done here we can see there are two methods there are two methods of system of distribution one is distribution board system the other one is tree system which is obsolete which is not included now it is the distribution board system which is in vogue which is in practice what is this distribution board system in this distribution board system they have this is the commonly adopted method for distribution distributing the electrical energy in a building so you can see the fuses of where various circuits are grouped together all the fuses are grouped together you can see the fuses they this they are grouped together on the distribution board this is the distribution board and all the fuses are here this is neutral so it will be linked to the main distribution board this can also be called as the fuse board distribution board can also be called as a fuse board there are two there are more than one so you can see the circuit number uh, one two three and four more than one circuits could be connected if you are going to connect two or more than two circuits it each of them consisting of each of them are consisting of less than 10 number of lamps why according to the is standards according to the is standards wait one second uh, you should have in one sub circuit only 10 points are to be connected this is the maximum load that it can be connected 5 amps socket can be included and 10 points and maximum is 800 watt load should be restricted in each circuit that's why you can see in each circuit there are just 4 it could be less than 10 up to 10 points you can connect so in this connection you can see two copper strip wires known as the bus bar these are the two copper strips which is feeding this is the two copper strips these are this could be on a hardwood or a metal case it is connected through the linked switch this is the linked switch so that you can switch off or switch on the whole supply can be controlled just by one or two throw it is also called as dpst double pole just by a single throw both the poles could be controlled a fuse is inserted inside this face wire face pole of each circuit and uh, and one more observation what you can see is um, one second yes I'll use a different uh, color uh, you can see one two three four lamps 
four lamps in each subcircuit is shown over here is indicated over here the lamps each lamp from each circuit need not necessarily be on the same floor or in the same room so that root wherein it is feeding the circuit see each of them is feeding different uh, root this is called as root or runs for connecting them most convenient method and also expenditure is minimum that is this is called as runs or root so there is no limit to the number of ways how you are going to connect there are four ways which is connected over here there is no limit how it has been connected provided the board which is feeding that should have the capacity to it should be large enough to carry the total load current that's all however in case of large buildings large buildings one distribution board may not be enough if the distance is very large from the distribution board then you can use sub distribution boards also so the main distribution board will be feeding the sub distribution board and so on it should not be large distance also in order to prevent uh, voltage drops and the next type was tree system wherein uh, the voltage across the lamps will not be the same when you compare with the distribution board system see there are number of joints you can see the number of joints over here and the fuses are scattered in case if the fault has occurred ac across the joints since it is concealed inside the floor or in the roof it will it will be difficult to locate and there are number of joints joints are large over here it will have to be opened completely if you have to locate for testing purpose so damage will be caused you know for the installation and for the entire building so the fuses are scattered and number of joints so these two points makes it a demerit in tree system for distribution so preferably in a building distribution board type of electrical energy is always preferred over tree system i hope you people could understand this thank you so much thanks for watching thank you